So in this video, we're going to explore variation theory and what I believe is the single most important piece of the puzzle. Now, I know I'm reducing quite a complex field down to some really pithy points, but different proponents of variation will frequently discuss the importance of variation against a background of invariance or a focus on what remains the same when viewed against a greater background of variance. And there's no consensus, but al and although the waters can be at times become muddy, the theory has a lot of potential in the primary mathematics classroom. In thinking deeply about primary mathematics, I provide this four part breakdown, but none of this is possible without the most important piece of the puzzle, time. Time to think about task design, about the intricacies of our question selection and engagement with the material at hand. High quality textbooks will quite often use intelligent question selection or a form of variation in their mathematical tasks, but we still need to think about how each question relates to the others and why each decision has been made. That way we allow ourselves to draw attention to those points worth the attention of our pupils. And if we're using worksheets made by someone else and devoid of any place in a carefully constructed sequence, then we cannot hope to be employing variation, not even a little bit. Now, the power of variation is realized in the interactions between adults and children. And as such, the relationship between questions in a sequence needs to be understood and personal to the situation as far as is realistically possible. Now, I can guarantee this absolutely isn't possible without time. Time to think about what has been or should be changed, what is or should remain the same, and the role variance plays in the structural metaphors to be attended to by our pupils. To get the most from variation pedagogy, we must realign where our priorities lie and dedicate time during our working day towards careful consideration of the questions and tasks we present our pupils. Quite often, five or six well-designed questions will surpass the efficacy of a seemingly random worksheet of 10 plus. And there is a lot to variation and it will take years to reach any sort of proficiency. But without sitting down and spending quality time thinking, we won't see any benefits at all. Of that, I can be sure.